Well, to begin with, I'd like to uh, start with whatever I have achieved till date. So this year, 2000, 2022, may seem a year with recognition as a visionary for Nepal and series of awards from government of Nepal, engineering community, and regional society. So these achievements I have achieved is actually the outcome of the dedicated efforts I have placed as a researcher, software developer, regulator, and an academician in the past 16 years. Well, while working for the past 16 years in the different roles as a, in ICT education, in ICT uh, development and telecom regulation in the ICT industry, what I have seen, there are very few girls like me who are working in this industry. And this is not the case of Nepal only. This is the case of the whole world. So to address this problem, International Telecommunications Union a specialized agency of United Nations has mandated all of its member countries, of which Nepal is also a member, to initiate girls in ICT programs so that we can attract more girls into the information and communication technology. So for that, what I have done till date is I have initiated Girls in ICT programs in Nepal as a coordinator. I have organized several events like interaction programs, awareness programs, workshops, trainings, hackathons, contests, publications, and many more. And in collaboration with many organizations in Nepal, I have organized such events in different geographies of Nepal. And the impact of these programs have resulted gradual increase of goals entering into this tech industry. And some of the girls have even come as a startup entrepreneur and some are even leading organizations for the women empowerment following the noble cause of girls in ICT. So this makes me happier. And yet, these efforts are not sufficient. We need to continue to proceed in this mission until gender equality is achieved in the field of information and communication technology. What I can say is, information technology that has come to the hands of the people through the advancement of technology that we are able to access to any information in the internet within a second. So this sort of facility which has come to our hands, we are supposed to make the best utilization of the services. So what I have been seeking in the tech industry is that we are supposed to build several applications and systems for the efficient, effective, and transparent service delivery to the public. So for that, we need more and more people engaged in it. So how the technology is transforming? The digital transformation that the ICT industry is no more an isolated industry as others. It, is, it has remained as a catalyst which can be blended to any other industry like education, health, agriculture, tourism, finance, and many more for the better living of the people. So these are applications and systems are supposed to be 
for the easiness, for making our lives easier. So why are not we supposed to build such systems? So that's why we are seeking for more people into it. And indeed, the ICT career is one of the highly paid job. And also, it's a borderless career. That means one can work from anywhere in the world for any other part of the world. So these sort of provisions have made that if, if one joins an ICT career, it's there is a possibility that we don't need to, we may not need to reach the place where the, there was a problem and we are going to solve it. So we can present the products, applications and systems from anywhere within the world. So that's the beauty of the technology. The basic digital foundation that is being developed day by day and the technology Digital transformation has been envisioned in such a way that not only people are going to be connected through applications, it has been envisioned that things are going to be interconnected. And machine learning, artificial intelligence, like these kinds of things will more strengthen the systems that are going to be built. And also, lately, cybersecurity is another aspect that has to be addressed in technology. Whatever systems that are being developed, they are supposed to be made secure for the people. Even the users, the public, who uses the applications and the systems, they are supposed to follow the general cybersecurity guidelines. Even if you do not just follow the principles a password, Something like that. There may be data breaches or something like that. So everyone needs to be careful on that. So cybersecurity is thus the responsibility of all. Not only the responsibility of the cybersecurity professionals, it has become the responsibility of all the users in the tech industry. So that means gradually these sort of things, the digital education, cybersecurity education, digital financial literacy, these sort of things need to be general. So a kind of massive digital education is required for all the general public as well. And more and more systems and products are to be developed. That's why technology is seeking for the young people and especially the girls, because there is a huge gap between the number of men and women working in the tech industry. So for that, all the young girls, they are, need to be encouraged and inspired to have ICT education and to follow the ICT career. So this will not only help them in making an ICT career only, this will help them to lead in the field of innovation because ICT industry itself is a field of innovation and women are considered as the symbol of creation and this is the field of innovation. So that's why girls and women can have great potential in the field of creativity and innovation in such a way. But in my experience, while working as a woman, I have never experienced any of the discrimination while working because there is no gender role at all. Technology doesn't recognize any gender. So all the works men can do, women are also capable of doing that. Women should not expect any sort of excuses while working. Whether you are learning or working, you need to just keep in mind that whether you are a single female in that, keep in mind that you are a great learner and a great worker. That is the thing. So 
irrespective of the surroundings. That's how I have been going ahead. And being a woman, there are some challenges as well. These challenges are the physical weakness or the limitations that uh, all the women face in different phases of life. Basically, the physical weak conditions at the time of menstruation period, at the time of pregnancy, even at the time of breastfeeding time. So, even in this period, women are supposed to work equally as men. So, this is the challenge that women have to accept. In my experience, what I can say is, despite of these challenges, women are capable of doing whatever they can do. We have already seen the history of women taking care of all the family members and the household. So whatever roles given to women, they will be doing dedicatedly. So why not in the field of tech industry, women can contribute equally. With the conclusion that women have more power if they are empowered. And for building such career, the important thing is grab the opportunities nearby and always remember that opportunities may not knock your door twice. So give your 100% full effort for whatever work you have been doing. This will help you to keep updated in technology because technology keeps changing. And with the pace of technology, we have no choice that sooner or later we are supposed to follow the trends of technology. If we are not following the trends of technology, we will be left behind. Do we, do we want to go in that way? Exactly no. Because I can recall some of the moments that there was massive movement for girls' education because there was no gender equality at that time. So with the massive campaigns of girl education, now we do not have to raise much voice for the girl education. So I'm looking forward to similar situation for the ICT education for females as well. So I request more young girls and women to be tech savvy and to contribute more in the tech industry. Thank you.